Welcome back to another video guys, so Mike here, and today we're going to be doing a Blackhawk Rescue Mission blog discussion. Pretty much boys, they released one earlier today, and this one's a sh pretty short one, but later on in the video I do discuss some comments you guys left on the last blog discussion with some ideas and what your thoughts are on that. If you guys want to be featured in the next video on the next blog discussion, be sure you guys comment your thoughts on this one, along with some potential update ideas that you guys have. That being said, be sure you guys join the Discord in the description down below. You can have a discussion about it in the general. Drop a like on the video if you want to see more of it. Subscribe if you are new. That being said, let's get started with this first one. So this one's going to be about the new tab menu that they did release. They have three symbols on it. A flag, a medic symbol, and a hand. And that hand is actually meant for gestures. The medic obviously is meant for like bandages, vitamins, dressings. This flag one though is a pretty interesting one that I will be discussing later on. Alright, so for the squad menu, you have five colors. You got red, yellow, green, blue, and orange. And with those five colors, anyone in the server could pick a squadron slash color. And that color would let them know where other colors are on the map. So say for example, you choose blue, you could see other blue members in that squad on the map. And this is pretty useful in VIP servers, but for open world servers, like with the public, you may get annoyed from seeing other people in your squad, but you can't really do anything about that. But that's where VIP servers would come in. Um, it's not like they give you like a disadvantage either. You're just seeing them where they are in the map. Another important feature that they added was actually a squadron slash flare sort of thing. So if you guys seen in the last screenshot, it showed three symbols. Air support, supply, and extraction. It's pretty, And I believe that shows extraction from what I'm seeing. That screenshot isn't the best from what they provided, but... I'm very confident it says uh, evacuation or extraction one or the other I'm not sure what it says but anyways when you drop that flare it's gonna be showing like a symbol on the base of the flare so it'll alert any nearby squadrons what you need help with like air support if you need a supply and this supply one's pretty curious like I'm pretty curious on this one because does it mean an air supply is coming in from when you clear out a base or does that mean you could be able to receive a supply drop from someone Maybe that's a, like, a little hint that they're going to be doing in the next operation. I'm not sure. The other one is pretty self-explanatory. You get extracted out by like a black auction look or whatever from another squadron. And the air support one is pretty useful because there's a lot of A-10 flyers who just don't know when to come in and when to like help out. Because a lot of people get annoyed when they just take all the kills. But for those who actually do like... Uh, not For those who actually don't take all the kills and actually wait for someone... By the time they say they need help on that base, they're pretty much dead. So when they chuck that flare and they pop that air support uh, symbol, that's going to be a lot more better for pilots like myself. I love just helping out people and waiting for them to call in backup because it makes it so much more like it makes it so much more better and a better experience when you get called upon than just going in there by yourself. Now moving on to gesture menus, we have three rows, stances, gestures, and poses. So row one, you got arms crossed, at ease, and salute. Gestures, you got haul forward, regroup. And gestures are actually probably one of my favorite ones I, I'm seeing from this. And I find like regrouping symbol, forward symbol, and halt, those ones look pretty good for the faction leaders. Poses, I'm not a big fan of uh, lying down. I mean, well, lying down is pretty good, I guess. Cross leg sit, I don't know why they added that one. Uh, and then you got hands on the belt, which I could pretty good you're just staying still and like chilling by a base or something I'm not sure but the other ones are pretty good gestures are my favorite but what are your favorites let me know in the comment section down below um, there are probably gonna be some more and like they said all these gestures are subject to change on final release this would help out the role-playing community by far and moving on to the last one we got the medical menu these ones are pretty self-explanatory you got your bandages vitamins and dressing these ones looks way more cleaner and there's not so much on the screen when you press tab currently there's so much stuff on the screen that makes it so confusing for those no one wants to read so much stuff just get straight to the point that's why they probably added just three symbols or three slots vitamins like i said dressings and bandages it makes it so much easier easier and overall this tab menu is a lot more clean looks more like very, it looks more like bold and gets straight to the point. It looks way more better in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now we're going to be moving over to some comments that I picked out from the last video on Blackhawk. So we got Bill Wing, we got my guest 
for the new raid location would be the Department of Utilities. When you enter the bunker, the second door doesn't open, strongly hinting at something being deployed or developed. Maybe it'll turn out like Modern Warfare Warzone where the bunker doors couldn't open for some time. Then they opened. And I later replied with that, but with you can probably read it already, but I wanted to say that. I don't think zombies would come out of the bunker. I think it's a bunch of team, like if they were to do the raid in the nuke area, aka Department of Utilities, it would be like an army trying to defend the nuke, and we have to go and disarm it. Maybe that could be like a mission, I'm not sure, but that's pretty much what I think the, the location would happen. Like that's what would happen in the location if it were to be chosen though. So let's move on to the next one. This gives my pra faction patrols seem a lot more lively and realistic. So he's referring back to ambushes and random convoys that you're going to be seeing in the new operation or the next one. And I just want to say, this is so much better because when you say to your squad, okay, let's go to the desert base and let's raid it up. But then when you're on the way there, you actually get ambushed and it catches you off guard. That makes the like gaming experience way more better and just way more enjoyable in my opinion. And that's why I said... It's a lot more realistic having random ambushes and convoys on the map. So hopefully he adds this in the next operation. We're all looking forward to it. No Name said, what if you add 10 slash forts into the game so you could set up a base anywhere on the map? This one's pretty interesting and this one ties into the supply symbol when you chuck that flare if you guys remember at the start of the video. I think that you should only be able to do this if the Shuna could supply you first and then you have what the resources to make that like outpost slash fort. And um, this could lead, this could like mean so much potential in the game because like you could go very far with this idea, but I think there should be like a limit on what how much outposts you could have because you don't want to have it everywhere on the map. And I think it should only be given out to like certain things. Like it's so much, you, you have to consider so much into this and you have to like talk with others about this idea because it could either ruin the game or you can make it a lot more better. You just need the right like settings on this, etc. Zeus man said, hope they add tanks in the next operation. I added this because I hope they don't add tanks at the current state of the game. Adding tanks will firstly lag the game, second of all, there's no reason for tanks, just for the looks of it. We're already dominating uh, AI bases, it's only if the AI bases become very strong than what it already is, if that makes sense. If there's no new enemy AI and we don't need to, a tank, then there's no reason to call in for a tank. Charlie said, Hell yeah, hope we get more lore, looking forward to ranking up while we wait for the update. If it's late July, it's good because I'm on holiday. By the way, Mike, I joined your Discord. Will there be any faction on new update? Let me know, I'm looking forward to one. Thanks for the vid on the info, I'm a bit busy now, so I didn't read the dis Discord. Just as I thought, I'm looking forward to how the story mode will be. That will be a hell of a word for Janar, Nahar, whatever you want to pronounce his name. Um, so yeah. He's talking about lore as an in information from the NPCs that we'll be doing some missions for in the next operation. That's going to be awesome to tell the storyline in that game. Also, regarding my faction boys, it's going to be coming out once I land this gaming PC. This gaming PC will come this month, so stay tuned for it. Be sure you guys are in the Discord. We're going to get this operation slash missions going for the faction. Let's move on to the next comment. Silver Soul Fox said, Oh boy, this is going to be fun. By the way, will you make a video to show the new features of the vehicles and new raid location, etc.? After they added it. Obviously, I'll be the first one on this one. I love Blackhawk. I'll try to get the first, like, I'll try to be the first ones on it. And I will be doing videos on it. So I appreciate you guys trying to post some notifications for that. And also to subscribe if you are new, because I will be doing all these update videos that will be coming soon that's pretty much it with the video if you guys enjoyed it drop a like on it subscribe if you are new join the discord in the description down below what are your thoughts on this i know it's a short blog discussion but i will be doing the next one when they do release it just let me know in the general when they do release it i'll be uh reading it very quickly and getting a video out on it that being said guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace out